Hello, this is Jeff Green, and this is 10 Essential Items for Every Photographer's Camera Bag. When venturing into the wilderness, seasoned outdoorsmen and Boy Scouts both carry a bag containing what we call their 10 essentials. Um, these are the basic items necessary to survive in the outdoors in case of an emergency. So, in that spirit, I'm recommending that you pack these 10 camera bag essentials so that you too can be prepared. Number one, of course, would be extra batteries. This is critical, um, especially here in the Pacific Northwest where temperatures tend to be a bit chilly sometimes. Uh, that really sucks the battery power down. So be prepared. Have some extra camera batteries, some extra AA batteries, and if you have an intervalometer or light meter or any devices that use button batteries, make sure you pack a few of those as well. Number two is extra memory cards. Now I'm sure most of you carry a memory card wallet, and perhaps you keep that in your bag at all times, but just to be sure, I would actually take some of those 2 gig and 4 gig cards you don't use anymore and just permanently keep those stashed in your bag somewhere, just in the rare case that you might forget your um, uh, card wallet. Uh, by the way, um, it's a good idea to take a card reader with you as well, just in case you're in the field for a day or two and you need to download your images, format the cards so you can recycle some of those cards. That's not typically a workflow I recommend, but just in case, it's nice to have the card reader there if you need it. Finally, a pro tip about this, um, I label every card with a small Avery label uh, on the back that contains my name and contact information. This is especially important in case I lose a camera or a card and somebody retrieves it. Um, it really gives me at least a lot better chance of um, re you know, recovering my, my information as opposed to having somebody uh, post my images all over the internet asking uh, you know, who, who, you know, whose pictures these are. So label all your cards. It can be really helpful. Um, I like a flashlight and a headlamp. I carry both. Um, I keep a small, you know, a small pen light flashlight for just searching around in my bag in the dark. Uh, but what I really like is using a headlamp. Uh, it keeps my hands free so I can work in the dark. Um, more importantly, make sure you get one that has a, what we call a, a red lamp option. Um, this is really crucial if you do astrophotography because it does not adversely affect your night vision. Um, also, if you're around other photographers uh, that are shooting the skies, it's just common courtesy not to you know, turn on a bright flashlight and ruin their night vision. So nice headlamp, a flashlight, and make sure it has a red light uh, option on it. Tools. I don't carry a lot of tools in my bag, but I do carry a Leatherman. It's got pliers, knives, screwdrivers, um, bottle opener, very important. Um, I also carry a set of hex keys because I carry um, and use uh, quick release systems. So it would kind of suck if I didn't have a, you know, an Allen wrench to undo uh, do those to, to remove them and replace them. And I carry a carabiner or two with me. Uh, mostly I use this to um, hang my bag up. So if there's a, a tree or a branch or a fence or something, I can just loop it around and clip into it so it's not sitting on the ground. It's coming really, really handy. Um, a remote release, um, something as simple as what you see here, um, or maybe a fancy interval velometer. Um, if you've seen any of my uh, other videos or been to any of my workshops, you knew that I'm a strong advocate of using a tripod. That being said, it does no good to put your camera on a tripod and then go ahead and press the shutter button. You're going to um, transfer some vibration to the camera. That's going to result in unsharp images. I've got a whole nother blog post on how to get sharp images. Um, I'm but uh, right now, always keep a remote release or an intervalometer in your bag as well, just so you make sure you have it. Polarizing filters. Um, this is critical. This is the one thing that Photoshop can't do. Um, there is a company now that makes a very good filter system that um, uh, simulates uh, polarization. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I've not had a, yet, a chance yet to use it, so I'm not going to recommend it until I have a chance to review it. Um, but what I've seen so far, the samples, looks pretty impressive. But that being said, always carry polarizing filters with you. Um, this is especially important if you're doing landscape and um, uh, nature photography. As you can see in the samples here, it really makes a big difference. There's nothing fake about this. All it did um, on the right hand side there is cut out a lot of haze and glare and allowed the true blue sky to show through and let the colors from the mountain and the clouds um, um, pop a little bit better. So polarizing filters will um, basically separate the uh, pros from the amateurs when it comes to uh, landscape and nature photography. Uh, business cards. Um, by the way, I didn't zip these or uh, fuzz these out, so feel free to call me or email me anytime. But um, I carry these with me at all times. Real simple, you know, don't get too fancy with it. Um, but regardless if you're a pro or a serious amateur, always ha have some business cards with you. You never know when someone might want to view your work online. 
And I can't tell you how many times I've been shooting an event where a uh, mostly parent would come up and say, oh, is it possible for me to get a print of that? And I can easily post it to my gallery online and then give them my card. And it usually results in a few sales. So it's always nice for an extra few bucks. Uh, microfiber cloth. Man, I've got a whole drawer full of these things. Um, I keep collecting them from trade shows and I can never seem to find when I need it, so I buy more. Um, but if you've been to any photo trade shows, you should probably walk out with at least a half a dozen of these. And having been going to trade shows for 20 years, I've got a whole drawer full of them. So my bag's got at least three or four of them. I always have one in my pocket. Um, and yeah, they're great. Uh, they're pretty much the only thing you should use for cleaning your filters and your lenses. And it's pretty handy for cleaning your eyeglasses as well. Uh, I know this is always a big shocker. Number 84 rubber bands. Um, I always get a big laugh at this when I do it, uh, present this at a workshop. People go, well, you're really specific about the number 84. That's not 84 rubber bands. It's the actually uh, the size designation. Uh, number 84 rubber bands is about a half inch wide, and this makes it really useful. Um, I'll tell you what I use it most for, and that's attaching filters, gels, and bounce cards to my flash. It's just a really quick and easy way to do it. I keep a 3x5 card or two in my bag as well for a bounce card. And uh, I mean, you can spend all the money you want and all those other fancy gadgets for your flash, but <laughs> believe me, a rubber band and a 3x5 card works great. Um, it's also great for using to um, uh, wrestle off stuck filters. You just wrap the rubber band around the uh, bezel of the filter. It gives you a lot more grip and it really comes off a lot easier that way. Um, also use it for securing smartphones to a tripod or a tree branch or something if you want to do a self-portrait. But, um, you know, obviously bundling up cords and cables and all the regular stuff. But, you know, I've always got a few of those in my bag and they really come in handy. Uh, number 10, um, you know what? Carry some writing materials and office supplies with you. Just a few things. Um, I carry a small notepad, uh, a, a Sharpie, a pen, um, a highlighter, and a pencil. I basically bring the pencil in case the pen runs out of ink. Um, and then if you notice here, um, I also have a tape measure and some uh, binder clips. These just come in handy um, for taking notes on exposure, uh, re recording contact information for people, um, just any kind of location notes I want to do. Uh, also, uh, as you notice, wrapped around the pencil, um, some gaffer's tape. Gaffer's tape is phenomenal. This stuff will save your life. You know, I can't tell you how many times this stuff has really helped me patch up a hole in my bag or secure something to my tripod or tape down a lens so that the uh, zoom doesn't drift, uh, focus doesn't drift off, especially for astrophotography. But I don't want to carry a whole roll with me. So basically what I do is I rip off about a four or five foot length and I just wrap it around this pencil and it's always with me. I'm pretty much not going to need more than that for, for most cases. So gaffer's tape rules. All right. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a like and share it with other photographers that you uh, think might get some value out of it. Um, if you want to learn more about what I'm doing, uh, here's my uh, social media uh, contacts. My website's my name, so jeffreymgreen.com, and you can pretty much reach me um, on my blog and my store and everything else through there, plus all my uh, work. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, obviously. So, uh, again, thanks for watching.